So, we went to go see some movies at the local movie theater. Ask me if I remember them. <laughs> we snuck in some uh, shots of alcohol, and we bought a large soda, and then we just filled up with, like, Coke Zero, and then put the shots in there, so we were able to experience the movie much cheaper than the uh, movie bar. So we saw A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, which is the Mr. Rogers movie, and then we also saw Frozen 2, and today we'll be talking about Frozen 2. I can lean more harder on A Beautiful Day because I remember that movie way better because by Frozen 2, I was so drunk. I only remember three parts of Frozen. I was not that drunk. I only had four shots. I had two Krakens and two Jack Daniels. Well, I had the the Chivas, and then I had a huge bottle of a new liquor I was trying called Black Velvet, which was very good. Canadian whiskey, cheap. If you're looking for a good whiskey, actually, that was great. I never tasted a cheap whiskey that good. Even LTD was not that good. So, I have a long history with Frozen. I actually knew the head of maintenance of a theater when I lived in Pennsylvania, and I used to get in for free. So I watched Frozen three times. I went to the the standard, I went to 3D, and then I went to the sing-along. Which you were the only grown man in the sing-along. The only grown man. That did not have a kid with them. I did not have a child with me, no. Did they give you a weird look when you didn't have a child with you? They didn't, no. Okay, that's good. I hope they wouldn't discriminate against me being childless. The pedo is strong with this one. <laughs> Actually, I don't think Frozen 2 has been in 3D at all, has it? Well, 3D movies in general have died off because, I mean, think about it. Most movies that were shot were not exactly like 3D-centric movies because when you had movies like, what was it, um, The Amazing Spider-Man, it was a 3D-centric movie. So when you watch in 3D, it made sense. But then when you watch it in 2D, which most people would, it didn't make sense. Frozen 1 wasn't very strong in 3D. In the very beginning when he's sawing through ice to sell ice. That made sense. That, like at the very beginning, like was like, oh, this is going to be amazing because it looked amazing in 3D. But after that initial scene, like nothing else was even close to that. So at one point, like all movies, no matter what they were, was in 3D and it just made no sense. So at one point when the 3D craze, I want to say like from 2012 to all the way to like 2016, like... Everything was 3D. Yeah, Frozen 2 was good. I like the meta-ness of it. There's one part, spoiler, Elsa sees all the uh, past movie sequences. And one of them was when she's singing Let It Go and she kind of cringes. So I thought that was funny. I mean, to be fair, I don't remember that part. Well, no, 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 no. Actually, no. One thing I do remember, and I was thinking this the whole time. So they talked about the parents and whatever and when they were children. But, you know, Disney's already confirmed that their parents, that Tarzan is their brother. I yeah, thought yeah. they were about to say it, but they didn't. No, that would have been cool. Yeah. That Tarzan, would have been cool. Tarzan is the uh, brother of Elsa and Anna. But then also, we got to think about it like this. Actually, I just thought about this now. So when they were children and then they were going on the crew, they were going on the ship. Actually, he was born after them, so they wouldn't actually know. Oh, no, they don't. They don't That's know true, the Tarzan. Right. But then the stupid part was they go in like the little bubble and then the ship is right there, but the ship is supposed to be in Africa. So they didn't think that the ship was going where they said. So the ship was actually going to the place where they wanted to discover about Elsa's powers when they thought it was going to a wedding, which actually the wedding they were supposed to go to is the wedding of Tangle, but they got shrimp wrecked. They got <laughs> shrimp wrecked. They got shrimp wrecked. When you get that shrimp dick and you get wrecked, they My got shrimp life. wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> so they got wrecked, and then uh, they ended up having Tarzan on a remote island. But the boy didn't have powers, though. I mean, he had the powers to jump between trees and like hold shit with his feet, but that's not a power. Yeah, he's like Samurai Jack. You can fly, no jump high. The, what's funny is he's the rightful king. To of the, Arendelle. Yeah, to Arendelle. But you know what's funny? So back in the day, it didn't matter how many sisters came before you. You were the one boy. Boy, you next in line. I just jumped four spaces. If my family would be like royalty, my grandpa would have been king, and then my dad would currently be king, but I would be behind my brother and his son. My brother and his son would be before me, because it goes firstborn and then his children. I would be third in line. But you know what? That's like a status symbol like back in the day where like some people would be like, oh, well, I am this of this family, but I'm 15th in line. And that was like something. The 27th, something of that nature, in line for the British throne is a crackhead in prison in South Texas. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> wow. There's actually a news article about that. Wow. Yeah. In, in the great words of Josh Bot 3000, we're way off subject. This is a not episode, but I've been drinking. Yeah, we both been a little drinking. He's actually way gone. I'm not at all. Yeah. But anyways, um, Frozen Two. It was pretty good. It was actually pretty good. But you know what though? It can't stand up to Frozen One though. Uh. And I thought they they tried to go in a kind of like a different direction to be like, oh well, Elsa's powers are more of a lore. Yeah, yeah. But they really didn't explain it that well because they were like, oh well, she's the fifth element that brings everything together. But why is she the fifth element? Just because her mother was from the tribe? Always Frozen 3. Frozen 3, Tarzan comes in, (laughs) swinging on a vine. I mean, I wish Disney would do stuff like that. So they need to take a cue from Marvel, and they need to start doing cameos. Like, like legit cameos. Not like, oh, and Hercules, Scar was the lion that he killed. Not stuff like that. No, like Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, like legit, they come into the scene and they interact with the character. In the MCU, they have things where, like, the characters interact. You have the Avengers, and you have other movies where they interact. In, you know, the Disney world, they all intertwine. They've all said it. They've intertwined, but they don't show it, though. And what's funny is Disney owns Marvel, so you would think that they would take... We became human. (laughs) Okay. The the aliens are coming. They're coming right now. (laughs) Yeah, so you would think they would do something more like the MCU type thing, but they just don't. Uh, what's that Once Upon a Time that like crosses over all the princesses? It's good, but it's not canon. I don't care if it's canon or not, but it's live action. It I is live s- action. I want to see the animated characters cross paths. I don't care that Elsa was on Once Upon a Time. It's an actor that you can't do stuff with actors that you can do with animated characters. That's true. That's true. That's why a lot of, you know, like animated to real life adaptations just fall on their face. Yeah, and the people talk about how much money it costs to animate. It can't cost more than trying to do some of these special effects on live action film. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that, that's something I wish that Disney would do is like a animated Once Upon a Time where you had all these characters come together and Elsa meets like, you know, Rapunzel and stuff. Yeah. Well, you know what the point is? that it, There's nothing stopping there. There's no licensing or anything like that. Well, I'm hoping with Disney Plus they have something like that. Like, the thing that made me happy is when they're like, oh, they're going to do a Loki TV show with the actual guy that plays Loki, Tom Hiddleston, in the movie. When you have that continuity between movie and TV show, that makes me so happy. Frozen 2 is an overall pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a worthy successor. It was like a Shrek 1 to Shrek 2. Yeah. I didn't think they dropped in quality. And especially, the reason why I know it was good is because Into the Unknown was as good as Let It Go. And you had the one in the movie, and then you also had Panic at the Disco do the one in the credits. But you know what? I gotta be sober when I watch the movie so I can remember it. I mean, I remember certain parts of the movie, man. What the hell is wrong with you?